Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In this video we will wrap up the current scene converter and we will also wrap up the whole React 101. In this video we will do the calculation so when the user starts typing into any of the inputs we want to automatically recalculate the value in the other input and also on the selection of these currencies we want to make sure that the currency B is also recalculated. Now we'll jump back to VS Code and the first thing we'll do we will assign values for the input so instead of zero we want to render the data cell rate. Okay, so the AUD and USD should render 1 and 0 0.7 as the values. So let's change this to value equals currency A value or currency A val and the same for currency B val. Okay, now we're taking the data from the currency A val and currency B val from the state and we applying it as the value. If I save this and view it in the browser, we'll see that there is an error that we didn't provide on change handler. Okay, so anytime you provide a value to an input, you need to also create an on change handler. So let's do that now. Inside of the first input, type in on change equals and then in curly braces, we pass in the event and we create an arrow function and try to run this on change handler and we'll also pass it the event as well. Okay, so we can copy and paste this to the second input too. We will have one function or one method managing both inputs. And now let's create the on change handler method at the top just above the render method. On change handler, we pass in the event, and because we having this method running on both inputs, we want to differentiate. We'll also create the currency inside of it, so we passing it another parameter. In the first input, it will be a, and in the second input, we'll change it to b. Okay, so now we can differentiate which input we are changing. And inside of this handler, we can simply write if statement, check whether we're checking and editing the currency A or currency B. So let's type in simple if statement, use the currency, see if it is A or if it is a B. Then we need both currencies from the state. So let's destructure the state and get the currency A and currency B. This will be the full object of the currency A and currency B. We'll need that to update the state to the right values. And now simply console log that we are changing the currency A or currency B and see what we've got in a browser. Okay, we refresh the page and really when you start typing into the currency A, we'll see the first message and when you start to type into the second input, we get the different message. Okay, so we've got it working fine. And now we just need to update the state with the correct values. Now again, little challenge time. I'm challenging you to try this on your own. I'll pause the video for a moment or you can pause the video for, mo for a moment. And now my solution for the lazy students. <laughs> We will remove the console log and we will save the newly typed value from the input as a new value a constant. This will be e.target.value. So that's what the user just typed into that input. We want to capture that and save it as a new value a. And then we will simply use again the this set state and inside of that object we will set the currency A value to the new value which they just typed in and we need to calculate the currency B value that will be simply the new value A times the currency B dot cell rate. 
So we'll take in the new value which the user just typed in and we multiply it by the sale rate of the currency P. Now let's review it in the browser. We will type in something in the dollars, Australian dollars, and we see the American dollars being recalculated. Now we need to do exactly the opposite. When someone starts editing the currency B, we need to update the state to new value as well. Let's remove the console lock. We'll save the, we'll save the newly typed value as a new value B. And then we will update the state. This time we will reverse the calculation. This time the currency A val will be new value B divided by the sell rate. And the currency B value will be the newly typed value. And that's all there is to it. Now we've got the both inputs updating the other one. And if we view it in the browser, you'll see that updating any of the values automatically recalculates the value in the other input, which is perfectly fine. The last, the remaining piece of the puzzle is to update the currency B when we select a different currency from the drop down. Okay, so we want to recalculate whatever the Australian dollar value is when we select a different currency from the drop down. So let's do it now. You can try it again on your own or just wait a second before I type it in. Inside of the set state, we will define currency B val to be the currency A val that we will need to get from the state like this. And we need to multiply it by the just now selected currency and its sell rate. Okay, so whatever we just selected in the drop down, we want to multiply the current the currency a val by it and that will give us the final result if we look at it in the browser we'll see that if we type into any of the inputs the other side gets automatically updated and also when we changing drop down we have the currency b the second one always updating into the right value so everything is working fine you've just created a very functional currency converter. I know there was quite a lot of calculations in this video. So let's recap it nice and slowly together. So you know exactly what is happening and how we updating the state based on the user interaction. The first thing we did inside of the app.js, we set the default value, we've changed it and we made it a value. And that value is always the currency a val that we are getting from the state. So we're destructuring it here and we applying that value to both inputs, the A and the B. And then we've also created the on change handler that has the same method running, but we passing it a different parameter. In the first instance, we setting it to A in the second one to B and that will let us have this nice if statement inside of the handler. If we are updating currency A, then we setting the currency B to the newly typed value multiplied by currency B sell rate. And if we updating the currency B, then the currency A value needs to be updated. And we're doing that by getting the new value B and dividing it by the sell rate. Okay, so it's the opposite calculation. And then also when we changing the select drop down, when we change when we changing and getting a new currency from the drop down, we are updating the value in the B in the second input to the same calculation. So currency A value times the newly selected sell rate. Okay, this should make sense by now. A little bit of calculations, it's a pretty simple math and hope you've learned something new while building this currency converter. And this is it. This wraps up the currency converter, the React 101. Hopefully you learn something new about React. And if you want to learn even more, join me in the React workshop where we will build three 
full-on projects from start to finish exactly the same way as what we did in the React 101. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this from the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Until next time, happy coding!